Five easy ways to save more money. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on the channel and you like money, if you like traveling, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video because that's what we focus on here on Momentum Mondays is travel vlogs and entrepreneur videos related to making money online. So in correlation to a lot of questions I've been getting asked um, on my social media is you know where to start with investments or how do how do you start making money if you don't have money to start with right whether it's making an investment or trading or Instagram or starting an agency or company whatever it is right and I was like perfect idea let's talk about how to start saving money instead of actually making money so take a look at this screenshot right here okay this screenshot represents the average um, income in the United States by age, which is absolutely crazy. And these numbers actually show you what it takes to be able to be in the 1% or that 0.1% in your age. According to a recent study I was looking at is actually 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, okay? What that means is almost every single person you know in this country is not enjoying their life and is actually spending a lot more than what they're making. Right, so let's dive into these five tips and tricks that I personally use, or five hacks that I personally use when it comes to spending money and saving money as well. Okay, so number one and most important thing for me is start thinking about your money as time. Okay, so for example, let's say I want to go ahead and buy this brand new MacBook. Right, this MacBook costs, I don't know, like $1,200 right so before you go ahead and buy that macbook or a shirt or whatever it is right let's say a gucci shirt even you get paid ten dollars an hour for example right the gucci shirt costs you two hundred dollars that means you're gonna have to work 20 hours to be able to afford that one gucci shirt okay is it actually worth it probably not so why would you go ahead and spend that money right so that is number one is being able to switch your time or switch your money with time right buy with time don't buy with money right for example for me when it comes to my purchases and the way i think about almost everything is how many sales do i need to be able to afford this car or this house or this thing right if it's x amount of sales then let me go get x amount of sales to be able to get this well got a call there sorry about that but for example every one sale i make let's say you know when it comes to solar is two thousand dollars okay that means i need to go ahead and sell one deal to be able to make two thousand dollars to spend on whatever it is i want and if that's worth it for me i go ahead and do that purchase right so that is number one number two reframe your earnings okay what that means is every single paycheck you get let's say for the sake of numbers it's five hundred dollars right let's say you work 40 hours a week every single week you get the same amount okay the easiest and best way to start putting money aside for other investments and to be able to buy other things is, hey, instead of saying and telling yourself that you're getting paid 500 a week, take a cut off right away. What that means is take 20%, 10%, 15%, whatever it is that you wanna take off that you can afford and say, okay, the top 20% of this paycheck and every single paycheck is going away to the pillow, to the stash, to the new bank account. And then this is actually how much I'm getting paid, right? So you're not getting paid the full amount, but you're getting paid the amount that's after your savings are deducted, right? And what that allows you to do essentially is start spending less because you're making less and you're saving more, right? So that is tip number two for you guys. Number three is my favorite, okay? So number three is my favorite one, cash value, okay? What is the cash value of that thing that you're buying? Think about it this way. If you had the choice between, again, let's bring up the Gucci shirt again, right? If you wanted to buy the Gucci shirt, right? Let's say the Gucci shirt costs you $200. Would you rather have a Gucci shirt or $200? Right? So what that means is anything you wanna buy, right? Before you actually buy it, think about it this way. Would I rather have somebody give me $500 or whatever that amount is? or would you rather have that good or product right and obviously if you'd rather have the cash you're not going to buy the product but if you'd rather have the product you're going to go ahead and get that and spend that money 
All right, that's number three, and that's really important, I feel like, to be honest for me, because when it comes to me personally, I'd rather just take the money every single time, and it works pretty much almost every single time where I go into any store and say, oh, that looks good, and I wanna buy it, and go ahead, try to make an impulse decision, but I end up not, because hey, I'm like, no, I'd rather somebody just give me that amount of money instead of buying that thing that I'm probably never gonna wear or use, or other than once or twice, whatever it is, right? So again, if you're gonna get anything out of this video and start implementing any of these tips, make sure you implement number three, which is the one we just talked about, is would you rather have the cash, value, or the actual product, right? Now, let's jump into number four. Number four is gonna be racking up, right? Um, if you're from the Boston area, you probably understand what that term is, it's pretty much saving up money, okay? So, a lot of people that I know, and this is something I personally struggled with, is pretty much being able to actually save money, right? Not only put the money on the side, but being able not to spend it, because in the back of your head, you're like, shoot, I have that much money though, I can go buy that thing, right? So number four is being able to save money. And the way you wanna do this is be able to open up whether a new account or have somebody you trust hold that money for you, right? Or I don't know, stash it up somewhere. Just don't put it somewhere where you're gonna forget about it. When I was you know, probably 17, 18 years old, what I used to do is I used to go ahead and grab let's say 100 bills, $20 bills, and just throw them in random jackets in my wardrobe. And that's something that really helped me because I'd be out somewhere and I'd wear a jacket that I haven't worn in a while. I'm like, shoot, I found $100, right? Obviously, I'd be you know, more willing to spend it at that time, but it was one strategy I personally used to be able to save money. Again, you wanna be able to set goals as well for your savings, right? Whether it's small goals or big goals, right? If you wanna save $1,000 a month, say you wanna set $1,000 a month, and make sure you add that up every time you put some money aside, and then, Take it a step further, what you want to focus on focus on is pretty much what am I, what are you gonna do with that thousand dollars a month? Okay? Are you gonna invest it in some stocks? Are you gonna invest it in a you know new e-commerce website? Uh, Amazon, affiliate, whatever it is, right? Just set goals to your savings and set goals of what you wanna do with your savings. And that's something that's gonna keep your head on pretty much being able to stack up more money and keep your head intact on the money you're making. Number five is probably I probably said this to every single one. Number five is really, really, really important. Okay, so before you actually start spending your hard work, hard earned money, what you wanna think about is the opportunity cost of that money being spent, right? So let's say you're gonna go ahead and spend $100 on something, right? Think about what that $100 could have been if you multiplied it, you know, five to 10X with an investment, right? So that $100, for example, Today could be worth $500 in three months if you invested in Facebook, Tesla, or stock, or something else, right? So start thinking about, okay, is it really worth spending 100 to 200, 300, whatever the amount is on this product? Or should I invest it in somewhere where it's actually gonna appreciate and accumulate by me not really doing much? So that's a really important way to start thinking about your money is opportunity cost, okay? So instead of you actually spending that $100, that could have been a thousand dollars a month from now, two months from now, a year from now, whatever it is, when that hundred dollars was, if that hundred dollars was invested in something else, right? So just some food for thought. Hope you guys got something out of this video. Again, if you're gonna do anything, implement number three. Go ahead and watch it again if you need to. Make sure you guys go check the description out where I have other channels that I recommend to watch when it comes to saving, making money online, and other stuff as well. Um, and make sure you guys check out my last video on personal branding and how I grew my personal brand on Instagram within five weeks, right? Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Drop a like, comment, share with one more person, and I'll see you next Monday. Peace.